Jersey bar. Oh. Um, those Pomeranians are really like, you know, they start to find their teeth. Yeah. Yeah. She comes over. Yeah. Let's go. Did you get me? Just giving some light reading. Some light reading? Yeah. What's it say? Come read. It says the truth, that's what it says. No, it's not been my experience. Okay. Like... Have a read though, open mind. Is this me you're recording? No, I'm just, you know, just standing no here. No? No photos, no video? I'm allowed to do what I want. <laughs> oh, you don't have you don't have my permission to video me. So. Oh, that's all right. I'm not putting you anywhere. Don't worry. Love and light. Have a great night. Working on my book here, finishing it off, finishing it off, getting it done. Got some soups here at Rasayana. Rasayana Raw Food Cafe. Come here, have some soups, five bucks a soup. I can afford it. And uh, any minute, Christina's gonna drive in her brand new Porsche and park up and get a fully raw meal. Join me for high expensive stuff. It's good stuff though, very good, very tasty. I was just saying, yesterday a girl come here with a, <laughs> a Porsche, the same as Christina's, but here, hers was black and Christina's was white. And she pulled in, parked, got sat on that bench over there, got her raw food and took off. And I thought the raw food lifestyle is for the elite. The financial because these two soups here, the tire, we have to work one whole day, and so I'm gonna have probably five of these. Pretty crazy, hey! So raw food is for the elite, but we try and make it for every everyday person as well. Cup and cup. Pissing down here now. Pissing down here now. I've been on Instagram. Bucketing down. Empty place here, Rosiana. Beautiful old tree. I'm up here, have another binge eat, have another binge eat. Feeling really emotional by myself here, feeling lonely. So I'm using food to comfort myself, having a binge eat on some fruit soup. I'm not even hungry, I'm just eating for emotional reasons here. Yeah, the human body only needs to eat every 30 days, I think. Binge eating with the internet. So here we've got a little uh, Thai pasta. So this coconut flesh and this little, little pizza there with a bit of flax and veggies. A little bit of a feast there, a little bit of entree. So this is the best durian in Thailand, really, at the gourmet market. It's a cornstarch plastic container, recyclable. But uh, this Swan Tassani, really good durian, really good quality. This is what you want to get. This is what you want to get. So here we go, this is about 900 baht. This is the average Thai would have to work three days, three days. So the average Thai would have to work three days to afford this. is about nine, 900 baht here. Fresh pineapple, fully raw juice, durians. This is the best quality durian. You can't get better durian than this in Thailand. This is the, the incredible Suwan Tassani Bayong Farm. So this is the stuff to look out for. No chemical. Uh, it's tasting there. It's very natural flavor. I mean, uh, Hagen Dust. Fuck you, Hagen Dust. I'm going to eat some real food. Fuck you, little 69 baht stuff. This is what's happening. Basically, you got like, cheap ice cream. This is what's happening. It's gone, man. This fruit culture is dying. It's going downhill. 900 baht. Who can afford this? Only the old Thai generation. They're soon going to be dead. And it's going to be hug and das, fat Thai girls getting around with blueberries and cream. A handful of fake blueberries and lots of cream make the, the uh, hips get big. So unfortunately, it's game over for the fruitarian world. Even the fruitarians are saying, don't eat too much fruit now. Bananas and dates are bad for you. Don't eat too much now. Just calorie restrict, calorie restrict. And put more than one packet of durians. A bit. Don't just have one. Just have one little piece. Just have that. Just have that. Any more than that? It's too much calories. You don't need much. Just a little bit of juice. Half that. You're an emotional eater. You're an eater. You're a binge eater. So it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm going to stop the rant, relax, and enjoy my uh, fruit meal. Let's get into it. Now I'm going to start the meal with the ganya. I always start with the the creamiest durians first. That's the sweetest over here. The Pulmonese is the sweetest. Second sweetest, least sweetest, try the gang out. This is quality. This is fucking quality. Look at that. Zoom in on that bad boy. That is quality. Check this out. Mm. Man. Sensational. Look at that skin on there. This is quality, man. 
It's not that chemical crap, this is organic quality. How we do it? Back here, hacking us, taking it back over. Rock and roll. A little kitty cats. Oh, yeah. And, uh, so. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So at the train station they sell steroids at the train station, but Thailand doesn't have a steroid problem. Even the cops don't even look like they're on steroids. So there you go. If you want some steroids in Thailand, there's some at the Tiffy Mart. <laughs> Cargo hold, nice and sturdy. Straight through the seat, easy done. Easy done. Go back out there. So I found this little guy in my shoes, it's been carving up on some juice there. It's just carving up some juice, there's a train still in the station, once we get out. Oh, he's hitting this little boy free. Yeah, he's having a sniff around for some more sugar. You see the acids of it eating away my skin from the mango steam peel. A bit of chafing there. A bit of chafing on the hands, on the palms of chafing. Amazing looking beetle. <laughs> 